Hi everyone and welcome to a new edition of Draw With Rob with me, Rob Biddle. Here we go, there's a picture of me. Oh, got a beard in that picture. I haven't got that beard anymore. You'll be glad to know, I'm sure. Right, and I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one. It's called Kevin. It's all about one of my daughter's imaginary friends. Or maybe you've seen this one, which is called Show and Tell. All about a class full of competitive school children who want to bring in something better than the last person for show and tell at school. And it gets quite out of hand, as you can maybe see in this picture here. But today we are here to draw a picture together. And the drawing that we are going to do today is of one of my characters from this book here, which is called Odd Dog Out. You may have seen my friend Tom, Tom Hardy, reading this on CBeebies. Um, for legal reasons, I should probably point out that he's not actually my friend. But, you know, he did a good job, didn't he, of reading that story out. And it's the story of a little sausage dog, or Dachshund, who lives in a world full of sausage dogs, as you can see here. But she is different to everybody else in this world, as you can see here. So she goes on a little journey, actually, to find a place where she does fit in, where everybody is like her. But in the course of that journey, she realises that actually, do you know what? You don't have to be like everybody else. It's good to just be yourself. And everybody else realises that too. And at the end, look, everybody is just being themselves. So, what we are going to draw today is one of these little sausage dogs, one of these little dachshunds. Have I got that in the middle? Is it straight? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. So, this is how it works. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is what we do. I do a little bit of the drawing here on my piece of paper, then you might need to pause your video and you copy exactly what I've done. Then start your video again and you'll see me draw a little bit more. Then you draw, then I draw, then you draw, I draw, you draw. And by the end, we all end up with a piece of artwork that we are very proud of. Okay, so all you'll need is a piece of paper, a pencil or a pen, something to draw with, and we're ready to go. So, the first thing I want you to draw is, towards the top of your piece of paper, I want you to draw a sort of rectangle shape, like that. Maybe make it slightly narrower at the bottom than the top. And this is going to be our Dachshund's face. Now, sausage dogs, their eyes are right at the top of their heads. So let's draw two little circles right at the top of his head, like that. And inside each circle, right in the middle, we'll do a smaller circle that we'll colour in. They're going to be his pupils. Okay. Now, their noses are right at the bottom of their faces. So this is how we draw the nose. We're going to draw a little black square, first of all, roughly there. So we're going to leave a little gap at the bottom and a couple of gaps either side. And then coming off either side of this square, just draw a little sort of swirly bit, like that. And this is how I draw their noses. Okay, now coming out of the bottom of this nose, draw a little tiny straight line that joins up to the edge of the face, like that. And then either side of that straight line, just add three tiny dots. And these are gonna be our dog's whiskers. Now, sausage dogs are famous for their very long ears, so we need to draw two very long ears on our picture. So what we're going to do is, coming from the top of his head, the top corner of the right-hand side, or her head, we don't know whether this is a boy or a girl, we're going to draw a sort of long shape like that, that sort of joins up at the top and gets narrower at the top, and then we're going to colour that in. That is one of our dogs. Now then, let's do the same on the other side. Exactly the same. Big, long ears, the full length of their head. And we'll colour that one in too. Now, you might have noticed that we've drawn the head towards the top of this page. We haven't done it to one side because can you see this, the background, the piece of paper? There's lots and lots of different sausage dogs on this background. Some of them are walking on all fours, but some of them, like this chap here, standing upright. We are going to draw our dog standing upright. So. This is gonna get a little bit fiddly, but do you know what? I think you guys are equal to the task. What I want you to do, put your pen here, start drawing down, and when we get not very far down there, I want you to stop and draw a little arm coming out like that, okay? Then I want you to carry on 
going down. It's up to you how long you want to make your sausage dog. I'm going to do a very tall one today, I think. I'm going to do it about, down to about there, I think. Okay, then can we do exactly the same on the other side, like a mirror image of what we've just drawn? So we're going to come down, we're going to do another arm sticking out like that, and then we're going to come all the way down here, like that. Okay, so look, our sausage top's really starting to take shape, isn't it? Now, we need to do his other legs at the bottom, so this is how we do that. We're going to start curling around a little tiny bit there, and we're going to draw. A little leg like that. Bit in the middle and another leg. And we'll curl that up, join up. And look, my sausage dog is standing up. I don't think they can do that in real life because I think their their backs are a bit too long. But hey, it's a picture book, isn't it? It's a drawing. We can do what we like. Let's add a little tail here, just wagging away. There we go. Little sausage dog tail to make it look like it's wagging. Just add two little lines like that on either side. Now I want to show you one of my favorite little tips here and it's all about shadow. You might have seen me mention this in other videos, but if you just add a little bit of a sort of scribble coming out from either side of our dog's feet, like that, it looks like they are standing on the ground. There's a little illusion there to create the idea of a shadow and it makes it look like our dog is standing on the floor. Now then, that's pretty much it for the sausage dog. Quite simple to draw really, but as I mentioned earlier, can you see all these other dogs around here? They're all dressed differently. They're all kind of blazing their own trails. What I want is for you to dress your sausage dog however you would like to dress him or her. You can just, if you want, you can just color them in in different colors, maybe sort of rainbow stripes or lots of spots or stars or whatever you like, or you can give them a little outfit. This one here, he looks a bit like, I don't know if you can see him, maybe you can't see him actually, let's do this one. This one here, he's wearing a rabbit onesie, isn't he? And this one, look, he's a pirate. And I think over here we've got a superhero dog, but do you know what? You can do anything you like. Now, via the magic of video, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna draw, but I'm gonna do my very favorite sausage dog from the book. And I'm gonna try and do some clever speeding up this. So you're gonna see me drawing very, very quickly now. I can't actually draw that quickly, but hey, it will look like I can. So that makes me look pretty cool, doesn't it, right? While I'm doing that, you can either pause the video and do your own drawing, or you can look and see what I do and you can copy me. So here we go. Let's make a start. So there you go, there's my little sausage dog. He's a sausage dog dressed as a hot dog. Of course he is, if I was a sausage dog, I would constantly wear my hot dog costume. I think it should be the law, quite frankly. Now then, the very last thing you need to do to your drawing when you're finished is very, very important. We need to sign our drawing so everyone knows who's created our lovely artwork. So I'm just gonna write my name here, and there we go, Rob. And so I want you to do the same. And then I want you to share your fabulous drawings with me. You can use the hashtag DrawWithRob on social media, whatever social media you're watching this on, whether it's Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, but I really would love to see all of your drawings. Maybe some of you have drawn the hot dog like me, but hopefully some of you have drawn lots and lots of different sausage dogs and we've all blazed our own trail and done our own thing, which is what the story is all about. So listen, I hope you've had a good time watching this video today and don't worry because I'm going to be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. I really like doing these, they're a lot of fun. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.